cleaning up the gold. It's in my blood to the day I die When I start having a real good time I've done some pretty stupid things But hey, I'm a little bit harder And a whole lot smarter That's how I got to be this way What is going on, Rabbiteers? All right, today's the day you guys have been waiting for. We're going to do our gold cleanup from the prospect scene we did the other day. We're going to show you how much gold we got. We're going to show you how to clean it up, process, process the dirt. It's a little tedious, but uh, we'll get it done. Uh, we got some uh, little flack for the clickbait there with the gold nugget that we didn't find. But that's all right. You know, we're just trying to draw more attention. We'll try not to be so clickbaity in the future. But, uh, you know, we're just messing around here having fun anyway. So we're going to show you how to clean this gold up, show you what we get, and I uh, hope you guys learned something. All right, so we got a little Angus McKirk cleanup sluice here. Basically, all you're doing is you got a tub of water here, a recirculating pump. We put this in here to stop the dirt from getting sucked into your pump, even though it could probably handle it. And you're just gonna spoon dirt, one little spoonful at a time, into here, and it'll run through the riffles there, and it'll collect your gold, just like that. Now, there's a lot of ways to do this, but you kind of do this step first, and then you can separate your finer gold, finer, finer dirt later. And maybe some screens or whatnot, but this is pretty much it. You sit here and you sprinkle this gold dirt in here. Hopefully your riffles will get lined with gold. We have a gate valve here so you can adjust the flow in case your pump's pumping too much, not enough. You just open it and close it, whatever you think is best. Try to get a nice, nice flow. It looks pretty even. You can see the water's even on each side of the riffles there. Keep it level. What's that? Yeah, it's pretty humid out here. There's a bunch of uh, flies and gnats. They like almost rained yesterday. <clears throat> First time since like February. So now it's just super humid. But yeah. Sprinkle the dirt through. We don't have much concentrates. We only did really one real cleanup that day up there. We only dug for about an hour total. We just kind of went up there first time in a while to check it out. So it won't take too long to sprinkle this dirt through, but when you got a couple five gallon buckets of this, you gotta do this, and you go through other processes we'll show you later. Which is really trying to separate that fine gold from the black sand. Break it down by size. You can see the black sand starting to build up there now. <clears throat> it's a good sign, but riffles get too packed with black sand, some of that real fine gold will float on out. But it's still catching it right here in our little tub, so it ain't going nowhere. the slow and tedious process cleaning up dirt. We're just going real quick right now, just throwing it in there, you know, there's a lot of other things to do, screening down your materials before you get to this step even. Just trying to show you the basic here, running through a smaller, slower running sluice box. And you can pan out the concentration from that. Just keep breaking it down one side at a time. down the bottom of the bucket. Gold's heavy, so in theory, all the gold should be right there at the bottom. Looks like it's a bunch of rocks.
All right, so we ran all the dirt through there, and here's what's left. Some black sands and fines, and uh, yeah, we're gonna throw it in a pan here. See what we come up with here. Try to finish separating it. Washing out the box now. Just tilt it up, run some water slow. Don't wash it so fast, it washes wash out your pan. You'd be surprised how well this plastic and Kirk sluice works. I prefer it over the carpeted ones myself. You got thunderstorms coming. You know, a dog disappeared up here the other day. And, uh, we're starting to smell a dead animal. We thought coyotes might have got them, which probably happened, but it's starting to smell something dead, so don't be surprised if we find this dog. One time the neighbor's dog killed the dog, and he lied about it. And then uh, we found the dog buried, and then he killed fast. You know, this time we don't know what happened. But there's a dead dog somewhere. Smell him. Look for the flies. All right, now we got our concentrates in a pan here. Pan through them. Get the first look at the color. Now, there ain't gonna be much gold. Like I said, we worked for like an hour, but there'll definitely be enough to see in a pan, maybe surprise a few of you guys how much you can get for a little bit of messing around out there. It's wetting like a wildebeest today. Here in Southern California, we don't really get this humidity. Sands off the top. The problem is the gold will start floating to the top. It's so fine, you can just see it showing up everywhere in the top of the dirt there. There's the neighbor. He likes to call code enforcement. Who's your buddy, Kim? my <laughs> code buddy. Getting nosy. Yeah, it's alright. This day will come. God take care of that problem. Getting down to the bottom here, you can see all the tiny fine gold starting to show up. Damn near impossible to keep it all in your pan. Pass clean up here. Got a nice little pinch of gold. Not bad for messing around for 30 40 minutes. All right, guys, so we got it all cleaned up here. Here's what we got oh, I'd say it's about a tenth, maybe a fifth of a gram. A gram of gold is about 40 bucks. So, yeah, we made four to five bucks there, maybe 10. Who knows? But it wasn't about that. We just went there and showed you guys what was going on, how to, how to mine. This is how you separate the dirt. We literally dug for 30 45 minutes. So yeah, you can see how that can add up. You keep mining, you'll find bigger pieces along the way. Mm -hmm. To really separate it, you gotta uh, go through all these different little screens with these different meshes. Each one's a little bit bigger, a little smaller than the other one. And you hose it through there and then you dump your screens out separately. So you separate all the sand sizes from each other. And then you can pan them individually or run them through a blue bowl, just laying over there. And just slowly work to get all that microscopic gold. But like I said, it was just a quick cleanup that time, guys. Try to show you base. All right, all that's going to conclude the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a quick way to clean up your dirt real fast when you're done mining. Uh, showed you a little color in the pan. Not a whole lot. Definitely wasn't that eight ounce nugget, like we said. Sorry about that again for the clickbait. But uh, I was just trying out new things with keywords and stuff. But yeah, I got a lot of hate for that, so I ain't doing that again. 
Hopefully next time we'll uh, get a mine longer and show you guys more gold in our pan. But uh, give a video a thumbs up, hate it, whatever you want. Just like, comment, subscribe, share, and hate. You know the routine. And uh, we'll see you next time. God bless.